morning children well in today's class of economic application we shall take up a new lesson and the name of the lesson is uh, infrastructure of indian economy okay a better recap on what we did in the last class well in the last class uh, we took up another lesson and that was the main sector of indian economy where we talked specifically on agriculture and we also discussed uh, the various sectors of economy that is primary sector secondary sector and tertiary sector all right so the topic of the day as I said just now infrastructure of Indian economy well so let's get started uh, but uh, before we go on further first a bit of uh, introduction to the lesson okay that is infrastructure well uh, you know our uh, infrastructure is the basic uh, requirement of any economy okay although uh, you know the prosperity of the country or a prosperity of uh, the economic development uh, you know directly depends upon what it depends upon the uh, uh, development of agriculture and industry isn't it okay but uh, agriculture and industry also requires certain facilities like uh, transport and communication banking and insurance power supply etc to name few isn't it so all these facilities and services uh, when we take together it constitutes and what an economic uh, infrastructure okay well so uh, uh, you know the the infra the various infrastructural facility which I mentioned just now like transport communication etc. So these infrastructural facilities supports the very working of an economy. All right. For example, say uh, transport. You know, uh, transportation, how does it help? Transportation helps in the movement of men and, men and material from one place to another. Right. Uh, likewise, uh, communication facilities like post and telegraph so brings the buyers and sellers together. Isn't it? Similarly, you know, similarly, uh, the say uh, power supply, you know, power supply is also a very important infrastructure. Why? Because it meets the requirement of various, uh, say, farms, factories, industries, offices, etc. Isn't it? Therefore, when you see all this, uh, you know, we can draw a sort of conclusion that, you know, uh, we can also we can admit the fact we can rather we can say that we can admit the fact that the level of economic uh, development in any country depends upon what it depends upon the uh, development of uh, infrastructure understood so uh, development of any economy you name any economy it finally it depends upon what the development of the infrastructure okay like if you see the development uh, developed nations you know the developed countries have made a lot of uh, you know uh, economic development okay the credit goes to what why it is all because due to the tremendous growth in the social and economic infrastructure Okay, but on the other hand, if you make a sort of bit, uh, sort of comparison, if you see in the other hand, you know, if you take uh, talk about the less developed uh, uh, countries like India and all, you know, here we see, you know, uh, we, what we see is that there is a lack of qualitative uh, infra infrastructure in a countries like India, you know, less developed country. We see uh, the infrastructural, uh, we are talking about infrastructure. So what we see is that, uh, then, uh, you know, the infrastructure is very, very what? It's not, uh, quality wise, it is not very uh, satisfactory so what we, we see that there is a lack of what there's a lack of qualitative infrastructure and due to this what happens is that the level of economic development is also very low so what we see is that you know the level of economic development of the country then you know directly depends upon the development of various infrastructure whether it is a social infrastructure or whether it's an economic infrastructure understood so uh, uh, so I was telling economic infrastructure and social infrastructure. Well, uh, we are going to talk about uh, the different, you know, the categories, different type of infrastructure further. But before that, uh, let's uh, let's uh, briefly know what is an infrastructure. Then, so as I made a, uh, you know, as I made this uh, introduction to the chapter, from this only we can just make a short uh, definition on what uh, uh, what an infrastructure is. Well, you know, in a very simple language, uh, infrastructure means all those uh, you know facilities and services which facilitates different uh, economic activities, okay, and which further helps in the economic development of the country. Okay, now what are those infrastructure that we talked about then? Well, see, uh, for example, as I said just now, uh, transport and communication, uh, power supply, uh, you know, uh, uh, posts and uh, telegraphs, uh, health, sanitation, education. So these are some of the very good example of what? Uh, infrastructure okay then all this uh, infrastructure together they what they facilitates or what they give 
uh, they give uh, you know supports or they help in the economic development of a country so in short or in very simple language this is infrastructure okay I'm not quoting the definition from different economists and all. Uh, just, you know, just uh, you know, we're making a simple definition by what I explained the intro in, in the introduction. Okay, right now uh, let us see the different types of infrastructure. Then, okay, well, see, uh, infrastructure can be divided into uh, two categories. Okay, first is uh, the economic infrastructure, and the other one is what a social infrastructure. Okay, let us. Uh, briefly uh, understand what these two uh, uh, infrastructure are well in fact we have already talked about this so much uh, you know before but uh, we uh, you know we have to divide uh, you know uh, into two categories which uh, infrastructure comes under economic infrastructure and which comes under social we are going to see that okay so uh, with reference to that what is an economic infrastructure first well See, uh, economic infrastructure means all those basic facilities and services uh, which directly benefit the what directly benefit the process of production and distribution. That means I'm talking about economic infrastructure. Economic infrastructures uh, are those infrastructure. Okay, are those uh, uh, say basic facilities and services which directly what benefits the process of production and uh, distribution okay now to name uh, uh, to name uh, say for example uh, uh, some of the example of economic uh, uh, infrastructure are uh, directly road transport communication banking insurances uh, then we have um, uh, uh, irrigation power supply so these are some of the very good example of economic infrastructure this infrastructure plays a direct role in the economic development of a country they have a, you know they have a direct role okay in the de economic development of the country okay so on the other hand we have what social infrastructure now what is social infrastructure then well see uh, social infrastructure uh, you know means or refers to all those uh, activities and services which indirectly Directly helps in the what various economic activities okay uh, in the uh, you know just before this we talked about economic uh, infrastructure economic infrastructure you know directly plays in a very important role in the economic activities of the country or economic uh, development of a country right whereas in social uh, social infrastructure are all those facilities and services which indirectly helps in the economic activities okay uh, uh, how does it help indirectly then okay let us take an example of education education is an example of uh, social infrastructure let me give you an example of education see uh, education uh, does not directly uh, help in the economic activity of the uh, you know economic activity like uh, production and distribution education I'm talking about education it does not directly uh, you know uh, directly uh, so so called does not directly say help in the economic activities okay but how does it help in the economic development or economic activities indirectly then see uh, through education uh, you know we uh, you know we uh, how does it help in the indirectly then see through education uh, uh, la skilled labors we can call okay uh, lab uh, skilled labors like uh, say t uh, teachers okay uh, uh, technicians uh, say uh, what else uh, scientists engineers you know etc are produced right so with the help of you know it's so indirectly directly education might not help in the economic development of the country but it helps indirectly by producing all this uh, you know uh, uh, we can call it skilled labors like engineers uh, technicians scientists etc understood who indirectly helps in the uh, economic development of the country Understood. So, to you know, some of the very good example of uh, social infrastructure are, uh, like as I said just now, one is education, then health, uh, health care or health services, uh, water supply, then we have uh, sanitation, then uh, then you know so and so forth. Okay, so these are the examples of what social infrastructure. Okay, so just keep in mind that. Uh, you know, economic infrastructure directly helps in the economic development of the country, but uh, social infrastructure does help in the economic development of the country, but indirectly. And how I explained you with the help of uh, an economics, uh, sorry, with the help of a social infrastructure education. All right. 
So I think uh, we'll stop this lesson here. Uh, we shall continue this lesson in the next class as well. Uh, till then, uh, you can just go through this video lesson. And if you have any confusion or doubts, you can always WhatsApp me. Or you can also call me up uh, for, for the doubt clearance. Alright. Till then, uh, stay connected and stay safe.